microphones are on now. <laughs> so good afternoon everyone. Welcome to our next episode of the Virtual Quilt Show here at Fabric Cafe. And I just kind of wanted to give you all a quick grandpa update. So here's uh, the latest picture of little Yuna. We took this a couple of days ago and she is just absolutely adorable and we're having so much fun getting to see her. Here's a couple of other pictures for her. And here she's, you know, making the mouth, the little thing going on. So she's growing up and is doing great. Both her and her mom are doing just wonderful. So anyway, that's uh, enough for family stuff. Let's get into today's show. So uh, we had a great question this morning from Pat Halverson asking us, how do we use these elastic bands? So if you're not familiar with, we do have elastic bands in red, white, and black available on our website. They're $5.99 a piece, and there are 50 bands in each one of the bundles. So they work great for projects like making masks. So uh, I wanted to show y'all how we are suggesting one way of being able to use these. So uh, just to give you a little background on the mask, uh, those, each one of the, the bands, when you untie them, they come pre-tied in these cute little bows because they're used for other things like jewelry boxes and things like that. But when you uh, undo them, we'll see that they're actually a little over 18 inches, 18 to 19 inches long. And what we'll do with those is, I forgot to bring my scissors up here. Oh well, that's fine. I don't need to cut one in half. Y'all can imagine that. So I'll literally cut the, the band in half so that I can use that uh, with one of our masks. So what I've done with my mask is, come on up in here, Nat. there we go. So what I do is I'll actually go ahead and put a pocket in here like you would with a curtain or something like that. I have my band running through it so it's just loose in there. And then I'll just tie a real simple square knot on the ends to tie those in there. And then I'll go ahead and pull that knot into that pocket so that I have that in there. And it's then ready to go as my mask. So it's a nice clean look. And then we can go ahead and put those ear loops on there and you're ready to go. So it works great for making those ear loops on our mask and that's one way that you can use those bands uh, for making your mask. So hope that gives you a little bit better idea of how to use those. Uh, again, great price on these at $5.99 for that bundle of 50. So essentially you're gonna be able to make 50 masks out of each one of those. Okay. So let's get started with our, uh, our kits for today. So we wanted to take you on a little bit of a, uh, I just totally forgot what, what was the name of our show today? Memory Lane. <laughs> memory Lane. So we're gonna take you on a little bit of Memory Lane. We're gonna show you a couple of patterns uh, and quilts that you might not have seen before. So uh, our first one today is gonna be called Butterfly Friends. And it's a great pattern with uh, these butterflies on it. This would be a great little girl. Uh, might even have to make this one for little Yuna. Uh, so let's take a look at the quilt that we have. We're using the Friendship Star. So again, we've got uh, a nice four patch in this and also that nice star pattern in there with these little half square triangles. So we're able to use the butterflies as our primary here in that four patch and in the points on our star. And then again, we've got a small bun uh, border on this. Uh, so this is a great one with that, and it looks great with those turquoise and the blacks in there. So let's look at this fabric a little bit closer. So we've got those butterflies, and this great black and turquoise with the great old dots on it, great looking fabric, and then this fun little black confetti with uh, that, the gold in here actually does have a little bit of metallic to it, and so does the silver. So that's a really neat fabric for this particular kit. So this is uh, called Butterfly Friends, and we're suggesting using the Friendship Star. Uh, this one is also found in the Quick and Easy Three Yard Kits, one of our older books. Uh, it's one of them that you can actually download. So if you're one of our international customers and you're wanting to get it quick, that Quick and Easy book is great for that. So our next one is another great little girl uh, kit with some cute little flowers on it and everything. This one's called Our Lakeside. And uh, we have this made up in Chain Reaction from Modern Views. So you can see we've got almost like a little snowball pattern in here, but it gives you all of this great look and feel. And again, all of our kits are, or all of our patterns are designed to work with strip methods. So while this does look very complicated, it goes together very quickly and easily. 
and you can see we've got our, our primary uh, fabric, which is the little daisies, and then we've got our green and our blue out here on our borders to give you a really gorgeous looking quilt. What's the backing look like on this one? Can we see it? No, we, it's better to look at this one on the front. You can actually see we've got a really fun uh, daisy pattern in the quilting that we did on this one. So that's a really nice uh, project. So let's take a look at that fabric a little closer. So you saw that primary fabric in there of our daisies. And then we've got this great tone-on-tone -tone green. And from the same line of fabric, this light blue tone-on-tone. -tone. So this is a really nice uh, combination of fabrics. So again, this one's called Lakeside. And we are suggesting that you uh, use Skip to Maloo. This is a really fun uh, pattern to put together. Or if you want the chain reaction uh, from, I believe that's Modern Views. And so it's not the Easy Peasy book, uh, but Skip to Maloo is from Easy Peasy. We'll get all this figured out here in a minute. <laughs> it's kind of, as Donna always says, it's kind of hard to keep track of all of her children. <laughs> but uh, so we've got that pattern available in a couple of different options for you. Here's a really fun one. This is actually some of Donna's curated fabric that she did working with QT Fabrics using the Violets uh, line. And we call this one Window Garden. And uh, it's using the through the garden, or through the window, uh, again, pattern. And this one's I think, has looked really neat, like it is looking through a window at your home, at the old style windows with the, the sashing in those windows. This is really cool for that. So we've got our violets as our primary color, that lighter green vine, which also has a little purple berry in it to tie it in there. And then we've got that green with the, the confetti dots on it that works great as that border. So this is a great one at 45 by 59 inches in size. So let's take a look at that fabric now. So like I said, this is one of Donna's uh, curated line that she worked with uh, QT Fabrics. And so we've got those uh, violets there. We've got this green vine with that great little purple uh, berry that's in there to tie it all together. And then we've got these green dots. So this is a great one called Window Garden. And using the through the window pattern gives you a great design and a great look and feel with this one. This one uh, is also available in the Pretty Darn Quick book. Okay, now we got one that's great for the guys and using the Checkmate. I love the checkmate pattern for any kind of a, a large focal fabric uh, like this one that we've got up here with the baseballs on it. I know there's a bunch of us out there that are missing uh, the baseball season this year, but hey, we can at least have a little bit of baseball in the home. And let's take a look at this uh, checkmate. So you can see that we've got that big baseball fabric in that uh, big uh, strip of fabric across here. And this is great because it is width of fabric that we're working with. So you've got a nice big block of fabric in there, that full width of the fabric there. And then a great little four patch in here to where you can go ahead and put this together very, very quickly uh, using a nice focus fabric. We've also used this one with some of the, some Weenie the Pooh fabrics and things like that. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the fabric a little closer here. So I love this one because it's got all the baseballs and it's got some music in here for take me out to the ball game and, and uh, some fun things like that. And then this great red and blue fabric have actual baseballs in there. So you can see those, so this ties together really well at making this a great baseball quilt. So if we had spring training, this would be fun to sit in the bleachers and watch them train uh, and stay a little uh, cozy there. So we're calling this one play ball and using the, the suggested checkmate pattern. Uh, this is a great combination there. This pattern is also available in Quilts for Kids, uh, another one of our great books that we've got. So our next one that we've got up here is Autumn Flowers. I think this is a really gorgeous brown and the pinks in this. So we've got this Autumn Flowers and uh, let's take a look at the quilt that we've got on this. We've used the dash pattern. So it, this one's nice because it does allow us to have almost two focus fabrics in this. So you can see that we've got uh, our flowers in this one and then that brown com complementary fabric on that. And then we've got these small check uh, blocks 
that uh, look really cool. It gives you a nice variety of, of shapes and geometric uh, things there. What's the backing look on that? Yeah, we, I think we can see this one. Let's take a look at the back on this. This is a really neat uh, design that we have in here. Oh, we got an O out of that. <laughs> Natalie likes it. Yes. <laughs> so you can see we've got the, kind of a really a nice organic floral, uh, swirly kind of design there. It's a really nice one. Uh, so that's a great backing that we have on that. So let's take a look at the fabric now. So we've got that focus fabric. Uh, have no idea what type of flower that is, so I'm not even going to try. It looks like one of the weeds that I have in my yard. Oh, that was a bad thing to say, John. <laughs> But anyway, so it great fabric there. We've got a nice tone on tone brown, and I, I love these little brown, uh, uh, circles and the pink dots that we have, and it ties really together with that focus fabric that we have in there, and it looks really nice, all three of these together to uh, make up that dash pattern. So this one again is called Autumn Flowers, and we're suggesting the dash pattern. Dash is also found in Easy Peasy. So uh, as you're seeing, a lot of these patterns that we're talking about today are, are some from our older books and our older kits, uh, or not older kits, but older patterns that we have. Uh, so you know, we're talking about things like the uh, modern views and the quilts for kids, where we have some of uh, these older books, and we're able to show you a lot of those as as we're taking you down memory lane today. So let's take a look at this next one that we have coming up. It's called So Sweet. And I love this one, these is just really, really cute. I could definitely see this one, making this one for my granddaughter and uh, being able to have those pinks because we've, we've already got her set up with a couple of kits, uh, patterns in, in uh, her bedroom. So we've got the great pinks and whites here and this is our uh, uh, topsy-turvy pattern. And this is a great one because you've got a, you know, a nice focused fabric in here and you can actually highlight two of those colors. Uh, fabrics that are in there and it gives you a really a pretty design whenever you're using those pastels in this. And that's a, a really cute fabric. So let's come up and take a look at that. So this is really cute with the little daisies in here and we've got some little bumblebees and uh, just some really cute things happening here. And then this white's got these little birds on it and some butterflies. All of the things that uh, a little girl would just love to sit and look at out, out a window and then this really fun uh, pink and white swirl that's in this one. So this one's called So Sweet, and the So Sweet pattern uh, kit is using the topsy-turvy, and again, this is uh, one of the, the patterns from Quilts for Kids, so if you have that book, that would be uh, a great option for you. And a reminder is, as when you're uh, going up on our website, uh, whenever you're picking which pattern or which book option you want, uh, We've got the option in there to select the default pattern, but then you can also write in your choice in the order comments. And of course, if you buy three of our kits, you can pick one of our books to go along with that for free instead of those individual patterns. So that gives you eight, or eight patterns in uh, the book. So it gives you a great option to use up some of the stash that you have in your closet. So next one that we have coming up is <clears throat> another great one. Uh, this is another one of Donna's uh, fabrics that she curated, and I love this one. You know, as Donna is always talking about how how important friends and family are with her, and and uh, we definitely are still thinking about her and and my grandma uh, up in Arkansas is um, they're up there, and so let's take a look at that one. So we got a great focus on this one with the nice. Uh, seven inch block that's in that, that's sashed with that purple that's in there, and then this great uh, pattern that we have there. So it gets lots of nice contrast within this. And so it's just a wonderful design. This is using our, and Heartland is uh, also available in pretty darn quick. So let's take a look at that fabric. And I forgot to bring my water bottle in here. I now know why Donna gets thirsty when she's doing this. So. Uh, we've got our friends and family here. This is great. It says, you know, friends and family, and we've got love, and you know, all of the important words in here. Words were uh, are a really popular uh, design to add into quilts because uh, you can really express a lot with that. And then we've got this great 
gray vine with some purple berries in here that start tying it together with the secondary fabrics that we have in this. And this is uh, another one of the fabrics from QT that Donna curated called Circle of Friends. So this one is called Family and Friends. And we are suggesting the Heartland pattern. And that Heartland pattern is also available in our Pretty Darn Quick book. So I'll throw that in here. So this is Pretty Darn Quick. So again, this is another great, great kit that we have in here. I feel like we're on memory lane of Donna's fabric today. <laughs> so uh, we've got another one using the Violet's fabric, and this one is uh, called Violet Garland Garden, and uh, we've made this one up in bold blocks. So Natalie, uh, oh, Hannah's holding that up for us. <laughs> I almost had it me messed up. So we got a great big 10-inch block here with this drop shadow. Uh, sashing on this. This is a great one for a big focus print that you can use. Uh, trying to remember, yeah, we've got a, we've got a couple of them in here on using bold blocks. We'll show you another one here in just a minute. But it's great with all three of those colors in here, and it gives you a nice large quilt. Uh, it's a 47 by 60 on this one, so it's a really uh, generous size with using just three yards of fabric. And rem I'll, I'll remind you that you know this three yards of fabric is. Everything that you see on this quilt top is what's in that kit. All of, all of this border, the binding, everything. So it works great for being able to really optimize the use of that. So let's take a look at this fabric now. So we've got that violet fabric once again, and we've got this gorgeous, uh, I'm totally drawing a blank on this color. T turquoise, there we go. I'm a guy, you know, all of these weird names for colors. I'm going like it's green. Uh, okay, so turquoise, and we've got little bit purple berries in there, and then we have our uh, uh, purple dots that we also have in there. Oh yeah, we're having fun today. <laughs> and we're calling this one Violet Garden, and uh, we're suggesting that you use the Bold Blocks pattern. So this is a really fun one. And it's also from the Pretty Darn Quick book. So we've got another one that's using bold blocks. And this is one of our last chance kits that we have. So we've just got three of these left. And this is a really fun one for all you folks out there that love your dinosaurs. Uh, we've got all those brontosauruses and T-Rexes and stegosauruses and all kinds of guys in here. Uh, in here with those greens and great dinosaurs. This is a great one that's going to be working with that nice 10 inch block that we've got on bold blocks. And then our secondary fabrics are the great uh, footprints that we have here. And then that nice brown that ties it all together and is a wonderful, again this is one of our last chance kits. And we've got just three of those left and this one is called dinos. And we're suggesting the bold blocks pattern. So I will mention, as I'm swapping this out, all of our patterns use three yards of fabric. So any pattern will work with any three yards of fabric. So you can mix and match these all you want to uh, and come up with a, a combination that's all your own. It's kind of like uh, you know going to a, 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 a buffet at a restaurant. You get to pick out what you want. So you get to pick out that pattern, pick out that fabric. So our next one that we've got is called Tranquil Circles. This is a really fun one. Uh, that we have, and this is a great one if you're actually kind of going with that monochrome uh, look in your home, because uh, this is a little bit more subtle color. It's not real splashy, but it's a, a nice uh, combination of colors. So let's look at that kit here. So you can see we've got some nice variety of, of, of patterns in this, and we're using the uh, Harmony pattern from Easy Does It. And so you see you've got a snowball that's here using our lighter fabric, and then we've got a nice rectangle here that's got sashing on it. So you can see each one of those motifs that we have in this uh, will allow you to work this out and come up with this great design. So this is a really fun one. And what do we have on the back of that one? You know, we got a nice little dot pattern there. This is a really fun uh, quilting pattern they did. It's all these little swirlies and all of that in here. It works out really nice with those geometrics that we have on the front. Okay, let's take a look at those fabrics. So our primary fabric that we have here 
is this beige with the green turquoise and mm -hmm. shall we say ecru? ecru. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what brown. Is. brown. There, you go. there we go. The kind of you know grayish brownish color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have this really fun dot pattern with these little wavy lines to kind of bring it all together with those turquoise colors. So this is a really, this looks really nice whenever it's made up. So this one is called Tranquil Circles once again. And we're using the Harmony pattern, but the alternate pattern that we're suggesting would be Byzantine Door. This is a great one. Bob actually helped design this one. Uh, so those of you all that know Bob from the, uh, when we're out on the road doing the quilt shows, he helped Donna design this one. He's going like, hey, we need to do one that looks like those Italian doors. And uh, so they came up with Byzantine door. And this is really neat because you'll notice that I've got a red uh, square and a blue square in this. So there's actually two focus fabrics in this. So it, it gives you a really nice contrast whenever you're looking at these. Um, and this is uh, Harmony is in Easy Does It, and Byzantine Door is in the Quick and Easy Three Yard Quilts books. Okay, now we're going to get a little Disney going here. So we've got royalty. So we've got all of the the Disney princesses and all of the other characters that we have that uh, Disney has come up with. And uh, we were just talking earlier about, you know, Ariel Little Mermaid, and, you know, they're thinking about redoing that movie. That'll be interesting because that came out in like 1989 or something like that. But we've got this one made up in one of the really fast, uh, that's not Sweet Times, that's uh, Easy Street. Let's look it up. Donna just cringed over there, I, I can tell. Nope. Oh. Overnight Overnight Sensation, that's it. Yeah. Yay! Yep. So this is Overnight Sensation. So this is an awesome one because literally you, this can be made up literally overnight because I mean you've got these great big blocks and you're putting together a big four patch and then you're just putting a quick sashing on it and it goes together very very fast. So you can see we got our princesses in there and that purple and all of that pink. This is a great one for a little girl. Uh, that uh, is wonderful. So let's take a look at that fabric a little bit closer. So we can see that we've got all of our Disney characters in there. This is definitely nostalgic because these are all of the old characters from many years ago with, what is that, uh, Cinderella and I, again, I'm not going to show my knowledge of Disney characters because I don't know all of them. <laughs> There will be some little girl out there watching with grandma right going, hey, he said that wrong. <laughs> but anyway, so we got this a pink heart, another really cute fabric, and then the purple hearts there. And we're calling this one royalty. And we are suggesting as an individual pattern to use sweet times. And this is out of uh, easy peasy. Yeah, Donna's probably going to talk to me about all these little weird comments I'm making today. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> I know she's watching. Have you seen her pop in? I have not. Okay, next. Oh, this one, I love this fabric. This is the cashmere fabric line, uh, and it is absolutely gorgeous. We're calling this one Watercolor Garden, so let's take a look at the pattern that we're suggesting that you use with this one. This is Stepping Stones. Uh, this is actually one of the first uh, d patterns that I made whenever I started sewing um, the three yard kits. And I love it because you get all of, uh, you have a nice big focus block here and then you've got this nice little uh, checkerboard that's a little bit offset there, but it's really neat. And it gets that one big nice uh, border on it. And I love how we've got these little boxes in the corners. That works out really nice and gives you a lot of nice variety in this instead of just being a solid border on it. So that's Stepping Stones. So let's go ahead and take a look at that fabric a little closer. So this is a really neat uh, fabric. They, I think they did a great job with this. Uh, I'm gonna check real quick. Yeah, that's QT Fabrics. Uh, yeah, Q, I think QT did great with the colors and all of this. It looks uh, a kind of tribal, sort of. <laughs> but we've got that and we've got the 
lovely little dot pattern that's in this one that's got a nice variegation to it. And then the blues and purples and greens that are in this one is just gorgeous. So this is a really nice, rich design uh, of fabric that QT came out with for that one. We're calling this one Watercolor Garden, and um, we're suggesting that Stepping Stones pattern. And uh, if you are wanting to know what book we've got that in, we've got that in the Pretty Darn Quick book. So again, Watercolor Garden. Okay, up next, is this number two? Yep. So our next one's called Pretty Posies, the second. So you'll occasionally see these that we've added a, a, a number two or a number three on these because we'll run out of one of our fabrics. Uh, I believe this one was specifically, we, we changed out the middle fabric from the original run that we did. But let's go ahead and take a look at these three fabrics that are made up in this um, design. And again, it's in, uh, using the uh, overnight sensation pattern. Uh, again, you can see another great example of that, how you got that nice big 10 inch, uh, 10, 9, this size block. Uh, and it goes together very, very quick, and I think this is a gorgeous combination of these colors all together. Uh, and again, you've got uh, nice uh, borders and, and sashing, and all that pops really nicely on this one. So let's go ahead and take a look at this fabric a little closer. So we've got all of those flowers with this nice gray background of some vines and things there. And then the nice corals in this uh, secondary fabric. And our number three fabric, which will be the darker, it will, is that gray with the little triangle shapes on that. Okay, we're calling this one Pretty Posies the second and using, it was made in, in the sample quilt that we had there of Overnight Sensation, but we're suggesting Town Square as a nice alternative. Uh, and Town Square is also out of our Easy Peasy book. And that's a really nice combination there. So now we've got a, a few more uh, kits to share with you. These are some of our Last Chance kits. Uh, so Last Chance again, the, we're down to just like one or occasionally we'll have two of these. Uh, but we've got this one's called Pretty in Pink. And this one is uh, a last chance that we have, and it's got this great pinks and greens and yellows in here. And then our secondary fabler, fabric is that nice yellow vine with this great tone-on-tone -tone pink. Uh, so this is a really nice pink kit. So it's called Pretty in uh, Pink. And we are suggesting that you use sugar pie with this. And uh, gives you a nice combination. We've got one left on our website on that, so don't wait if you like that combination of fabrics in that one, because it will be going fast. And we've got another one here. This is another nice, uh, real subtle color combination. Uh, we're calling this in Hallelujah. And this one's got words on it. It's got Hallelujah all over this in, in the words. And then we've got this nice tone on tone, almost a little starburst on this uh, that matches really great with the blues that are in the, the main focus fabric. And then again, another tone on tone as that third fabric. So this one again is called Hallelujah. And we are suggesting that you use Candy Stripe. So this is a really fun one that uh, is using half square triangles. So Candy Stripe, yeah. Candy Stripe gives you uh, basically everything in the middle is half square triangles. Then we have that one of our focus fabrics out here on the border. So it gives you a really nice contrast on that. So that's a great one for that. And our next one here is another last chance. We've got one of these left on our website. And this one is called Happy Dance. And this is a great one for uh, all these little small flowers on it. And a uh, great combination of colors on here. And again, this one is called Happy Dance. And we are suggesting that you use Dominique. And Dominique is also a pattern out of Modern Views. So there's one left on this one. So don't wait to pick that one up. And we've got one last, last chance over here. And uh, I think this is another great one. We just got great fabric. <laughs> and we have more coming in, so. Uh, so this is a, a our last, last chance that we're showing today. Great browns and uh, turquoise, tone on tone there. 
And we are calling this one Wildflower. And Wildflower, we're suggesting to use the nine patch. So nine patches are a whole lot of fun because you've got two different uh, patch motifs in that design and it goes together for you really nice and it would look great uh, using your the contrast that you would have with that turquoise in all of it. So that's our show for today. Uh, just a reminder that uh, you know all of our books are available on uh, our website. You can get these. All of them are designed to work with three yards of fabric. And uh, a little special bonus in each any of these is you've got the instructions for making it bigger. So you can make a nice twin size using two of our three yard kits or a nice king queen topper using four of our kits. Uh, the books also make great uh, gifts for your quilting buddies and also a great way to use up some of your stash because all you have to do is grab three yards of fabric, a light, a medium, and a dark, and you're ready to start making up one of these kits. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Remember, we've got those uh, elastic bands up there for working with your mask. Hopefully, that little tip at the beginning gave you uh, some ideas of how we're using those or how we can suggest you use those. And uh, we look forward to see you on uh, Thursday when I think we're doing Civil War. Yeah, so we're going to do some Civil War type fabrics on uh, Thursday. So please join us then. And uh, of course, you can also rerun uh, and rewatch any of these again on uh, virtualquiltshowvideos.com. That takes you over to our YouTube channel that we've got set up for this. So you can watch them all again and again and again if you want to. And we love hearing from you. We thank everyone for all their comments and, and uh, ideas that they're sharing with us on Facebook and also on YouTube. And uh, y'all be safe, and we'll see y'all again soon.